This is another New Black World Order TV Productions. Aha! Uh -huh. Chopper, chopper. We're here at Magnolia Garden Apartments to do an expose on Slumlords. All right. Extensive crack. Just speak loud yeah. enough. So, um, yeah, these are the stairs that the tenants were uh, complaining about. Miss Williams, she was complaining about these. There's a lot of the stair hallways over here. Similar in disrepair, just like this. Come, you can see where it's like wood is all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, this is a. Uh, like a tripping of somebody waiting to happen. Right, right, for sure. And and, and people do trip. People trip and, and hurt themselves and often hurt and fall. Right, on different things. But you it's know, almost you like know. the board is about to cave in. Yeah, yeah. And then you can see up there it's separating too. So really, they probably need to redo the whole thing. There's no. They, they even move. There's look. no lights in here you, where you can actually look, see. Look, you can see where this is moving. And they all move. Right, so there's no service into this. Right. And there's an on-site maintenance. You can see, how, look how dirty it is. The common areas are really supposed to be maintained by the property. It's just so dark up in here. Right. And there's a light up there, but it's not. That um, light works? It, it, it works, but the tenants themselves would have to cut that light, light on. And so sometimes people don't want to take on that extra expense, you know. Yeah, because I want to actually be able to move over to the side so maybe I could see that board a little more better or so that our audience can see the boards a little more better. Okay. How long has this been like this? For a minute. Over eight months? Yeah. I mean, How many times have it been reported to all of I, I keep calling, I, I just stopped calling because they ain't doing nothing about it. They ain't doing nothing you called so many times, I you just gave up. That's how most, that's in your head. You hear that same story from multiple tenants. Well, ain't no need to call them no more. That's how everybody feels. Ain't no need on call. Just a deaf ear. Right. Okay. And the city has been notified. The city's been notified recently, so that they're in... We're, I'm in the talks with them right now uh -huh. to have the city uh, deal with the concerns. So we're coming up with a plan just to make sure that, because I don't want the, the residents, my neighbors, to be adversely impacted, you know, by any decisions that are made without their input. Because okay. we can see that that's becoming an issue with us not having the people's input when we make, think we might be making decisions on in their best benefit, you know, with that. What, what ends up being so I want to make sure that the community is involved and they know what's going on every step of the way you know before any action is taken okay so um, yeah right now um, I'm in talks with a couple of the agencies in the city to uh, see what the plan is going to be okay you know there's a lot of issues all throughout a lot of issues and, and this is this is this is tip of the iceberg, tip of the iceberg. You know what I'm saying? the rest of the iceberg is under the water right right, right. there's a lot of stuff going on inside of people's apartments you know worse stuff than this if you can okay uh, is there anywhere else uh, anything that you want me to show you or you want to show your audience around yeah you want to uh we can walk around that right now or you want to stop it in there we can you stop it in there yeah we can stop it and walk right. if you want all right Gutters. Supposed to be gutters. All right. Uh huh. Cables exposed. Yeah, that was. Can you even imagine that happening where white people live? No. You know what I'm saying? You would never. Maybe in West Virginia. Another one. Yeah. So. Same thing. So the water. The water runoff right there is, you know, weakening the foundation because it's driving more of the foundation away because they didn't have rain gutters for so long. 
Okay. See what I'm saying? And I think the prospective buyer that comes to buy their apartment don't wouldn't even notice that there I would think be. They know. They they know to look for stuff like that. You right. Know what I'm right. So they just. But it's a. It attracts the same type of um, exactly, owner. Exactly. Because. I got you. Right. If the tenants don't have nobody such as um, the um, leaders of the New South Tenant Council to stand up for them, then it would attract the same bias if the people don't know how to effectively fight against it. Right. 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 I mean, I, I like to think of it more as I'm helping the people fight for themselves. Fight for themselves. Right. Saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I got you. Right. I got you. But I feel you. Um, yeah, but I think they had started. See, that's what she was saying. They started repairing the stairs. Right. But you see, they ain't really repairing. They just want to make it look like they are drastic. about to yeah, do something yeah, window in order to try to appease. Right. But they do have more wood over here that they leave and underneath here, you know. Right. And you shouldn't leave um, right. wood out here where kids may be with right. nails and different things coming out. Right. 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 So, um, you can see how old this wood is. See? Like, there's no, um, not ground, it's not foundation, so really you could, you could kick this real hard. You right, know, because like it's that, not stable, and the, and the whole thing will come down. Right, and then... Oh, so that's not like splitting. going inside no. of the concrete? No, no, it's sitting right there. Just sitting right there. Yeah. And look how the wood is splitting. So both of them are like that. Right. All of them, throughout the whole complex. This is a danger. Yeah. This is a danger, LeVar Stoney. But we know our man LeVar Stoney gonna do something about this. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Look at, look at the cable. Huh? Right. Situations where kids can hang themselves. These are situations, there's too many cords for kids, a child to get caught up in. From what I've seen, I believe that if a kid hung himself right here, it would just get swept under the rug. It would be a freak accident, but nobody would look at the underlying cause. The purpose is there is no safety, no maintenance, and no regular maintenance in of this building. They're just collecting rent. That does give you a marginal amount of increased safety because then this doesn't sway as much, but I mean, all of the wood is rotting and stuff. Right, they're trying not to eat into their profits, right. and this is clearly what this is. It's a shame in 2017 we're still dealing with slum lords. After all of the efforts of Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights movement for better housing, right. um, that so many agencies in the fair housing so many agencies were created to protect people against this that the leaders of the new south have to do what the government fail or will not do or enforce these people to do because the laws is on the books the laws are definitely on the books look at this i'm not sure i guess that's okay or whatever but i don't know it looks a little weird to me. yeah it does <laughs> How is the um, pest control oh, situation so, in here? So, a few, there's a, there are some tenants in some of the buildings who uh, talk about roaches. Uh -huh. um, and you know, that hasn't been dealt with, but recently I've been hearing about mice. See, I haven't had, I haven't, you know. Experienced that. Yeah, so, but um, people are telling me that they have mice issue recently. Okay. So I guess it may be like, Isolated to some of the buildings. And what is these um, parking markers or something? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, what a beautiful driveway! <laughs> oh, the driveway. You know, the drive the alley is a whole nother issue. <laughs> right, right. This and this right here. This is the one that uh, you know the inspector. You know, took a look at it. Took a picture. Mr. Hicks, or the other inspector? Uh, yeah, it was Hicks. Uh, so it was Hicks. It was. Uh, I'm gonna make I a visit gonna, to see you, Mr. Hicks. So, so you could, you see how rotten the wood is or whatever. So what happened right here was the sister that lives upstairs, she, this one was damaged and she actually tripped and fell and hurt herself. That was the sister that went to the, um, no. Oh. No, they went to court? Yeah. No, no, uh -huh. that, that, the one that went to court, that was at a whole, a whole another, different a whole apartment different, complex. Yeah, 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 she was in the house. But look, if you notice the way they repaired it was just to slab another 
Bolt wood on top of the on top of the broken one, right. rather than repair right. it. <laughs> right. Right. So it's like moss and yeah. stuff. That's how. That's how. But that helps. Because the treatment is gone. Right. The pre. Cause, this cause this wood is. For yeah, it's, it's past the pre-treated wood right. term. Right. 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 It's now growing algae. Exactly. But um. Fungus. So this was good. This was good. Again, posters that can be kicked. Right. Um. And I think the inspector he actually came over here and was like, look at this, look something. at this drive right here. Oh yeah. So this this uh, resident, she actually like all like all of the residents over here. When it rains, rain comes into her their apartment. And right. She actually puts her own towels down. So it's got to be calling that black mold, that type of mold that can get into your lungs and different things like this. I'm not sure. This is a classic class action lawsuit here. Mm. It's classic. Yeah. So, then and initially when I first started documenting all of this, I, this was actually the first resident that I uh, that I documented stuff from this house right here. It's mm -hmm. our unit. So it angered me. That's what really made me want to fight that much harder because it angered me that this elderly sister, mm -hmm. knowing the things that she has been through in right. this country, you know, in order for me to even stand here, you know what I mean? And so for her to have to be bending over to use her own towels to put, clean up water, you know, or to stop water from coming in her house. At a time in her age when she should be enjoying her right. golden age. Right. Right, so it, right. Just, it just made me mad, you know, when she was telling me that. Like, as she was telling me, I just, I was getting, I'm starting to get mad even thinking about right. it, you know right. what I mean? Right. Like, right. really. Right. Is that, I don't want, I, Oppression I, I, and I, I, injustice I, will make you feel that way. I'm not going to sit by and let our sisters get treated like that, you know. It's but they're quick to put you out if you don't pay the rent. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Tag on some extra charge. Oh, so they can respond to not paying rent, but they can't respond to. Hmm. What? So they do hear you. That's interesting, mm. right? If I don't pay the rent, you know I ain't paid. But you act like you didn't hear me call, say, so fix this stuff up. So maybe it needs to go hand in hand, you know? Right. Maybe I'm, that needs. I'm withholding my money at the same time while I'm telling you. Feel People need to go to an escrow right. account. Right. So we've been working on that. We are, you know, everything is rolling. I know these people were talking about possibly. They cut this tree down. This, this tree was like up until like a few days ago, it was growing all over. So I don't know. If I Look like the roots may be growing underneath the foundation. Oh, Could be. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if the action that they took on that had to deal with the pressure that leaders of the New South has been putting on them, or if it has to do with that they're trying to sell the property, which they always are trying to. The well, you know, money seems to be their motivation. <laughs> oh, they fixed this one over here, but, but let me show you what's going on over here. supposed to be a walkway into right. the house this this is what the neighbors did for her. in order to get themselves up out of the mud puddle right right in order to help out the neighbor who lives here neighbors came along and put wood right here so not the here. owners no, no no okay so this is also a mosquito infestation oh right all, oh in the summertime it's it's mosquitoes awful. galore it's awful out here just because of the alleyway you know all the all the big potholes in the alleyway and everything it's, it's crazy out here and then you know like I was saying when when the water is allowed to gather along the edges of the buildings, you know, because you don't have any gutters and rent downspouts, that allows the mosquitoes to Look, Water has to go through their door almost. Right. right. On a good rainy day, water right. going to go through that door. Of course. This is totally unacceptable. So look what you got. You got like a moat here. You got a moat. <laughs> this is a castle. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> they recognizing the royalty in our people, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. No, I think we are. That's why we That's why doing we, what we doing. Man, shout out to right. leaders of the news. Right. Shout out to you, bro. Oh, man. I ain't no bad. You're doing it, man. You're doing it, man. We're doing it together. And look at that. 
So that's supposed to be that even falling apart up there. Mm. It has to be water leaking in the ceiling in some of these places. So mm -hmm. that's what you were saying around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, a lot of people. The, the sister we were just talking to, she said in, in her uh, the one form I just filled out. just filled the form out, right? She said uh, water has been leaking for years in her linen closet when it rains. The okay. people that are on the top floor, I experienced this. Right, right. Okay. You know so could I mean? you explain to us what is this form that you got the residents oh. filling out? So this is the form that I created. Okay. I um. I created this form to document the different, the, the different, um, uh, we got violations. Yeah, right. So on this existing side, we have, right. On this side, we have Virginia Landlord Tenant Act provisions. And on this side, these are property maintenance code, uh, provisions. to identify the specific violations. Right. All right. So let me show the other. All right. So Walkways, yeah. driveways address roof walls common area right okay you know i like my surveys right right <laughs> right right i like my got like the, for the people to be heard that's right they right. got to be able to see it in data form mm -hmm. right so yeah all of these i consolidated and sent them to so they have masonry um wrong problems also mm. bricks missing no no pointing up of the walls etc here's another missing gutter oh yeah that's on all of the buildings so none of the buildings have gutters or downs none of them i it's thought eight, that eight was buildings. a part of it is it is it is so these people are like totally totally in non-compliance mm -hmm. yeah like straight up <laughs> like that that's a a, a blatant one a you know, bla you, yeah this you this, gotta have you gotta have downs this is totally undeniable Yeah, so see these these are uh, this provision of the property maintenance code three oh two point two deals with drainage and uh water on the uh, because there's a whole different department in the city that deals with drainage and stuff like that. Like it, it's it's separate from the the main portion of department maintenance because you know, stormwater drainage, you get taxed for, for that type of stuff as a property owner and everything, so it, it's deep when you got Okay. Yeah. So these people names and violations is coming up in several different departments. Yeah. Yeah. Several different But you know, um it's, it's several different agencies that are neglecting this this part of the city. You know, I mean we got property maintenance, we got Department of Public Works. You know, and GRTC was trying to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to exclude this community. Right. Uh, so that's why I see these different policies and practices, you know, or or non-compliance with policies and practices when they all like are impacting like just one community. You know, it's just layer after layer of oppression. That's how I view it. You know, so right. I feel like all of these points of oppression just have to be attacked. We got to be aware and break it down systematically, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Depression coming systematically, so we got to attack it. Getting systematically. systematically. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So is there anywhere else we would like to show uh, the um, New Black World Order TV uh, audience? Uh, pretty much. I mean, some of the stuff would look uh, better when it's raining, be more noticeable, like the, the water is gathering and everything. Um, yeah, we haven't... Uh, seen any in the inside of anyone's apartment but right. I didn't uh, announce it beforehand so I don't wanna just you know walk up in there. But we can see if uh, somebody wants to show some things. Okay. Yeah. All right. People have holes in their floors and all types of stuff, man. Wow. Okay. We got mold. Alright. Okay, we'll come back. We definitely will do a part two to this. Um we're going to do the follow-up on the uh, um, taking this information to the city um, to actually see what's going on with this place. What's up, man? Hey, baby, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing what I can't pay you no more. All right. So, you want to um, close it? You want to do a closing? Uh, I mean, just, I don't know. I mean, it's the work's ongoing. You know, the work's going to keep going. Um, right now, I think 
we about to see some action being taken, so that's why we wanted you to be the first one to come over here because, you know, I think it's important that we provide the media, you know, so that we can, we know the right narrative, you know what I mean? We're not going to spin it, you know, uh, the way, well, just like the the Transit Network plan, there's one of these uh, Yeah, I saw the video. I saw the video. It's almost 70-something percent. Of the people is satisfied. The video. Uh, oh well, well no, that was from 2000. That was legit. That was legit. Okay. That was. I, I believe. What's that up, that man? What you doing? Black power. Because. Black power, man. But what that means? See, I don't know what type of involvement that uh, group. That was the Southeastern Institute of Research. Oh, okay. Like, so, so that wasn't the. That's something later. Yeah, that so happened that was, recently. Right. That no, that was something that happened uh, like back in 2015. Okay. You know, All right. So, at that time, I mean, most people probably would have said, like, oh, oh okay, it's, cool. it's fine. You know right. what I mean? But then when they came up with this new transit plan that have actually affected this area, too. Right, right. So right. there was a bus stop over here. Yeah, this yeah, this bus stop over there. where, where someone Right there, where right people now. sitting there right yeah. there? Yeah, okay. right there. Yeah. All right, no doubt. So, um, yeah, they, um, now we're looking at the bus stop. We were looking at the bus stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My bad. Talking about the bus stop, bro. Right. It's funny how he say something. Let me not go in on him on the camera. Oh, no, no. He was okay. Like, That's what's up. Yeah, all right. Know, they support me. Them, they brought me. You know I mean? Okay. But, all right. All right. Anyway, I, I, I feel him I on feel there. Him, you know I feel what I mean? We pointing the camera over there. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So, uh, nah, yeah. That bus stop they had planned on taking it away. But, um, you know, I was able to go door to door around here. And the people that were willing to give their comment, you know, that they, they were a part of us being able to affect policy in the city. So I, I really, that's why people would tell me like, oh, you know, thank you. Like, you know, man, uh, Who is the me. maintenance man here? He is. Is it a black guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's standing on the side of the owners? Apparently, that's how I feel about it. You, you read I can look at the place and, and said, tell. And I've said that. I can look at the place and tell. Yeah, so, and, and I have, like, and I've had that conversation with him, like, bro, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, like, you, you, you need to pick right now. You're going to stand with the people or against the people. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. So, to me, that's some sellout shit. You know what I mean? That's what you some, doing, bro? That's some sellout stuff when you were, you were, because that is exactly what you're doing. You're getting paid and you're looking at that money more so than you looking out for your people, you know what I mean? So right, in the condition that you would allow your people to live in. Right, right. Right. Like when you hear the stories, when everybody gonna say, oh, Mr. Such and Such, you know, I don't want to put people's name out there and stuff, you know, but they gonna say, Mr. Such and Such, Mr. Such and Such, like, you, know, you heard the woman, I don't know, you might not have heard her earlier. Yeah. What's the guy, what is his name? Or do you know his name? I know his name. But okay, I mean, I wanna, all right. You know. Yeah, but I, I would love to do an interview with him if I could find him. But I can't find him. He'll probably be out here a little while. On a I mean, we, if we, we wait a little while, he'll be walking. He lives over here. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, they, there's stories about that, too. I, I've, I've heard that he hires people who live over here to do work around here, and he pays them like peanuts. And it'll be like people that he can take advantage of like that, so they ain't the brightest people. Okay, it looks That's like whoever's doing the work ain't bright, and it looks like whoever owned this place is not bright. Okay, yeah. so again, this is another New Black World Order TV Productions. Uh-huh. Chopper, chopper, putting in that work. Boots to the ground. Appreciate you. All right, no doubt. This is Amari, the leaders of the New South founder. This brother right here is putting in that work. Everybody support him in whatever he does, because New Black World Order TV definitely does. Black Power, King. Black Power.